Hello everyone, my name is Sophia Dravecki and I'm going to begin with a quick story. When I was at Year 6 camp, so this was when I still lived in Bristol and Year 6 camp was this big thing that we'd been waiting all of primary school for, five days away from our parents in an activity centre in Devon and at the end everyone received a certificate for their time there. Most of them were ridiculous, there was the award for messiest room and the award for eating the most custard creams. Mine, however, was the award for being a born leader. While it was just a meaningless certificate, it gave me confidence in myself and that confidence has now many years later brought me to stand in front of you to convince you that I would be the best candidate for head prefect. Firstly, I'm personally not a fan of team sports, but I'm not going to be a head prefect for myself and I know a lot of you love them. So, I'll continue to organise sporting tournaments for football, basketball and any other sports you think would be great for competition, though you might have to explain the rules. But why limit myself to sport? Last year we had a chess competition which I think was really cool, so if there's any other tournaments you think that would be exciting to have, such as chess or maths or Rubik's Cubes or whatever else, just let me know and I'll make it happen. Similarly, if not competition, then clubs are a great way to share interests. I think everyone should have the opportunity to organise a club, as I know how fun it is having led many myself throughout my school years. I want to make sure that everyone has the chance to get involved in something they enjoy. My next proposal only really applies to sick form, and that is to make sure that this year we actually get a good school trip. At the beginning of my speech, I mentioned Year 6 camp, which is actually the last time I was on a residential trip. That is mostly due to COVID, but also due to every Sunnyview trip being cancelled since I've been here. I know my fellow classmates also feel frustrated watching our siblings and friends going off to have the time of their lives while we're stuck at home. So, I pledge to you that this year we're going to have the best school trip of all time, and parents will love this, for a good price. If I'm elected as head prefect, I'll be pushing for somewhere we actually want to go, and I'm going to make sure it's international. Next, why is it that nothing ever works in the sick form centre? Half the classrooms don't have working air cons, and the other half don't have working clocks. While I unfortunately, oh, and the rest of the school also has similar problems. While I unfortunately cannot fix them myself, I would like to have a system of sorts where when something breaks, you let me know, I let the right people know, and we get it fixed as soon as possible. So no more being roasted alive when you're just trying to learn algebraic long division. Finally, at the end of last year, when I was imagining what I would say in this speech, the trip was going to be my number one priority until we got the email saying that phones would no longer be allowed in the sick form centre at all, and I knew people were not going to like that. In the world we live in, phones are an important part of society, and we should not hide from the future by banning them completely. It's important to understand when using phones is appropriate, like during breaks, and when it's not, like during lessons. And while I am of the belief that if someone wants to waste all their time on TikTok instead of studying, it's their own future they're sacrificing, I can understand wanting to avoid that by banning phones during study period, so it is only for break and lunch that I want to bring them back. So if this all appeals to you, and you can handle my bad jokes, then I think I would be the perfect person for you to vote for to be head prefect. Thank you.